hello if you could um, like this video or leave a comment or even subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate it very much uh, so today i'm going to talk about tools um specifically i'm going to refer to um lord max uh, video a while ago about tools and and i'm going to show how you can actually make your own tools and a bit later but i'm going to talk about this first so um lord max was saying about uh, people when they start off and you can uh, start off small with um you know not the best best tools but you know decent tools and uh, build yourself up and you don't need everything at once you know you can build yourself up and even buy stuff second hand you know like snap on second hand so um from that uh, you don't actually need expensive tools for everything you know like uh, some things you can actually buy uh, cheap tools to do the same job so um like uh, we've i've bought these now uh, they're uh, o-ring picks and a good example now you know, it's not much strain pulling uh, O-ring, really, you know, we can, uh, we are, uh, I'll uh, talk about these now quick, uh, but, um, you know, with all different shapes and sizes, about five pounds of ring off eBay, including postage, but um, there's not actually much strain on these, you know, pulling an O-ring out, you know, a spool, a spool coupling or something like that, so they should be fine, you know, you don't actually need to be the highest quality stuff, you know, uh, because there's not much strain on them. Same really for a hammer, you don't you don't need the best hammer anyways, just any hammer will do, you know. So you don't actually need the full brand, you know, um top of a range ones and for everything and fair enough, you know, like um a, a more expensive to uh, makes now, you'll have better ratchets, you know. The sockets will be right and they're cheap ones, but like the ratchets will last a lot longer, you know, with better stuff. And um, say chisels now, it would be harder steel, better better stuff, you know. But not everything has to be the best stuff, like this now. This, this would do, you know, cheap one. And, and uh, like a hammer, you know, cheap one do. But um, I'll finish with that now. Uh, also, I'll move on from that. Also in this video now, I'm going to show you how to make your own tools. So uh, instead of buying all the tools you need, like expensive dealer tools for special jobs, with basic fabrication skills, drilling, cutting, welding, and also uh, basic maths, you could make your own tools. So this one, I'm gonna, I'm showing how to make. Uh, I made this um, template then for a Massey special tool. I've already made a Massey special tool on uh, YouTube and for lifting a lift off, uh, but this is another one. This will be a bit more uh, universal. So this now, so a, a genuine Massey one has a line right across there. So it's a triangle shape with three holes and it's for pulling the steering wheel off. So you have a threaded part here, a bolt or something, and that presses down on the actual shaft, the steering column shaft then. And uh, these holes then you have bolts going down and hooked ends on them. So you hook on the spokes to pull it off. So it's quite a job to get them off without breaking any, something in with um, ordinary pullers trying to hit this thing. So I'm making this uh, tool then. So... Uh, I'm not sure if you could actually buy something like this, uh, but uh, I'm making one myself uh, universal then. So I've uh, measured a few tractors then. So the smallest one was about here then, and uh, they went up generally to this middle one the size. Then this was a 4, uh, 434 International, which is a step bigger, and then this one is a Super Q Ford. It's quite a bit bigger. So... Uh, I uh, decided to put, make this first and I've made this myself uh, sort of adaption of a tool and um, to see how big a piece of steel I needed because I couldn't really tell the voice and I want to see if it looked quite a bit of gap from this from this but it doesn't look quite a bit uh, quite uh, big here then so uh, I'll just put one set of holes for this then and try to figure out how to do the one but I'll show it later so um, to make this then I just Needed a compass like this to do all the circles and use a ruler. You half what you the diameter need. So half, so that's 60 mil. So 8 mil from a point there to pencil. Uh, I've taken out from with the pencil there. And um, protractor. So this is to get the three evenly spaced. So one circle is 360 degrees. So shared by three is 120. So we make a line first, make a cross and then a line so, so you have one point to work off. 120. And, and uh, you know, we, uh, you measure it out like that. It should be 120, 120, 120. So, um, 
while I was measuring, this is why this is different. While I was measuring, a Leyland is about the middle one there. It actually had two spokes. So it's usually have most tractors have three spokes, but the Leyland has two. So um, quite a simple way is to just to join this line up right down so it's straight, put another hole there, and I'll have three legs anyway, so I'll only need to take one away and put it here. So that'll work. It's quite a universal tool. But I need to, um, I've been making, trying to uh, see how I can do that, because it's quite close to there, so you need a bit of gap to for strengthen. So we couldn't just put a little bit of gap there to have a, a bolt there. So um, to get around that now, I've photocopied it so I, so I didn't ruin that then. So I photocopied it and I've started to do this. So halfway between those two, you have one hole that's out here for that one then because because i have an extra hole here for the lane and if i didn't have that i could just put one right there and then have them even evenly spaced but this is a bit uh, it's not quite even here but it'll have plenty of uh, strength there so i need to redo this the outline of it and uh, it's quite important to learn how to do uh, uh, the um, templates and because it's better for you to make mistakes on this and to figure out on this paper and it's quite cheap and it's quite easy and to start cutting and drilling and it's not working in. So I like to do these first and I can actually lay them, cut them out, lay them on the seal. I can take a center punch and punch right at the dots there and will be right there and then I can lay it on and draw around it and cut it out so it's exactly the diameter uh, shape I want it. So... Uh, with basic, you know, you had, you had to do these maths, to, uh, you know, angles and all that. And uh, you had to use these as well for circles. So it's basic, ma uh, basic maths, you know, add and uh, share and you, you'll uh, get there. Then. But uh, basic maths and basic fabrication skills, uh, you know, uh, center punch, drilling, when you can actually cut around it, a grinder if you wanted, you know, and uh, just basic welding, just help. Uh, Probably put a nut there and weld round it from the bottom in, and then have a bolt, big bolt to screw down to um, as a puller in. So uh, that's another tip. And to follow on with uh, from Lord Mac, then you could actually make your own tools in. So uh, on the cheap end, I don't know how much this would be. You know, a, a genuine one probably on like eBay. Someone would pay silly money for it. You know, as Ferguson stuff goes. But um, I, I'm not sure if you could actually buy something like this uh, ready made. You know. So that's another point. Uh, I will also use this uh, sort of way to make a um, tool for uh, uh, Ford or New Holland um, spool coupling. You know, it has about oh, six or so holes right around it, or maybe 12. So what I did was I drew an outline of a, a piece of pipe that would fit around it. And here, when I used the, from the same point, use a protector and to mark three holes from it. And I then laid the pipe on that and I used a pencil just to mark up where the lines were. And I had my uh, holes for putting pegs to make the tool for um, slacking and tightening them in. So uh, it's just basic maths, just basic uh, things then. But it's always best to do it on paper first to get it all worked out then. So I just need to uh, finish this off now and I can make my uh, steering wheel puller tool. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I might keep you updated on this, I might um, show how to make this one. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye from me for now then.